How's it going everyone? David from DOD Media. That's right, I've uh, had a bit of a haircut. Lovely. Today I want to show you a super quick way of achieving a vintage look for your photos or your video, and it's all using the Curves tool. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro and here's a clip from the intro that you just watched. And if we come up to color, because this has no color correction on it whatsoever, this is straight out of the camera. Okay, next I'm gonna drop down, grab an adjustment layer, which you can just create an adjustment layer that fits your sequence. And because I want to apply the color correction on top of the clip, not on the clip itself, because I'm gonna show you a few little different ways of doing this. Now the most simple way of getting a vintage look is to just click on this top right corner of this bottom left square, which is the black square. By adding a node there, it means that you anchor the line to that point. So if you drag the black node up here in the very bottom corner, the line is gonna stay crossing through that part there, but everything else is gonna balance around it. And so just by dragging this up and down, you can see that it adds and removes fade to that picture. Now this method works incredibly well with photos, with raw photos where there's a lot of data in the file that Lightroom can really play with the shadows, play with the highlights, play with the colors, and give you a genuine looking vintage look. It doesn't work as well on video because there's just far less data in the picture to deal with. But nonetheless, that is method number one, super simple, super quick. Now if you click and drag this adjustment layer, we're just gonna reset this Lumetri color panel here, and then I'm gonna right click on this one and disable it so that we don't see that one anymore. Now, the second method, and this is the one that I use most often with video, is to add a few nodes. You're gonna add a central node as an anchor, you're gonna add a highlights node, a shadows node, and then a midway between highlights and whites, and a midway between shadows and blacks. Then you're gonna bring your blacks up to about halfway on this square here, on this bottom square. You're gonna bring these shadows up a little bit, and then you're gonna drop this line here and just balance it out so that it looks like it's a pretty straight line coming up there, nice straight curve. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the highlights and turn it into an S curve and drop the whites down to balance it as well. And that way it's looking like an S curve but it's not starting at absolute black and it's not starting at absolute white. It's starting a little bit higher for both of those. So it's crunching them. And the result of that is that you achieve a nice contrasted look while still fading the highlights and the shadows or the whites and the blacks, I should say. And if you wanted to make this look even more vintagey, because we are adding S-curve, it's gonna increase the saturation because it's increasing the contrast. So what you could do is drop the saturation to say 85 and then maybe bring the vibrance back up by 10 or 15 because that way vibrance will affect all of the colors except things that are close to skin tones while saturation affects the entire image. So it means that you're losing less of the saturation in all of the other colors in your picture like greens and blues, but reds and oranges are being less saturated. And as I say, this is my favorite one to use because it still adds contrast to the picture, but it does do the clipping of the whites and the blacks, which provide that vintage look. All right, and then if we click and drag this up one more time, let's disable that one and just reset this Lumetri panel. I'll show you the final tip that I have. This doesn't work as well with video, but it works really well with photos. And that is to simply drag this black node here up along this line. So we're not adding any other nodes, we're just clipping the black. And you can drag this up to where you see fit. You could have it super stylized like that to make it obvious that you're going for that milky black look. Or you could have it down here so it's a little more subtle. So try these out on your photos, try these out on your videos. All three methods offer different results, but ultimately they're your best way of getting a very quick, very clean, faded vintage look. All right, I hope you found this useful and I hope that you vintage the hell out of whatever you want to make look vintage. That doesn't even make sense. Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. If you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified when I release a new one, which I'm aiming for every Wednesday and Saturday. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Check out DoD Media on Instagram. And if you have any questions, fire them over to me on Twitter at DoD Media. 
I'll see you in the next video.